Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, guys, this video is about the baggage. Yes, the baggage that we carry, but also that women of your dreams might have some baggage as well. And it's all about sabotage and breaking up and making up. So if you're the type of guy that perhaps doesn't feel he deserves the women of his dreams, despite the fact you're dreaming about this all the time, well, you're wrong. You really do deserve that. It's the baggage that we carry that was ingrained in our subconscious mind before we were 10 years old. Whether we're worthy enough, whether we're good enough, it doesn't make any difference, guys. Everybody's good enough to have the women of their dreams in their life. So that's how you feel. Listen in. So why don't we just get started? Now, guys, oftentimes our subconscious mind will sabotage a relationship. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, I went through many, many, many women back when I was dating those nine years where the women would sabotage the relationship. In fact, you know what they would do? They would simply run away. <laughs> I was really puzzled, guys. So what we need to do is make sure that when we're getting into a relationship, we need to understand the baggage that she carries. But before we get there, before we ever even get to that point, we should know the bags that we carry. Is it a duffel bag? Is it a big case, one of those big monster, monster travel cases? Or is it a carry-on? And guys, when we know this, we get an opportunity to behave differently, to know that we're worthy of love. And isn't that what we really want? Humans love love. We love being nurtured and we love being understood. So guys, this is outlined in Two and a Half Men, season seven, episode 16. Charlie and Chelsea have been together for almost a year now and they're engaged to get married. And what happens? Charlie poof, sabotages the relationship. Chelsea moves out, moves all her things out, moves her cat out. And Charlie is absolutely distraught. He doesn't know what he's going to do. At first, he kind of skims over the surface of his emotions and says, ah, that's okay. Yeah, I, hope, I wish you the best. Goodbye. And then he starts really sinking in to those deep, deep emotions. And Charlie is so distraught that Alan suggests, Charlie, you should just go back to that shrink. And he says, why? That's just another woman who's trying to change me. Yes, well, she's trying to change him for the better, where she's trying to help him recognize those bags that he does carry and recognize that they're just baggage. And it's your subconscious mind that's trying to control the outcome. So Charlie instead heads over to the church. And here he is in one of the pews, and he's praying to God. He's by himself in this church. And all of a sudden, this beautiful woman walks in. Betsy, because Charlie says, God, just give me a sign. Show me a sign. Is Chelsea the right one for me? And there shows up Betsy. And what does Charlie think? Yeah, this is a sign from God. <laughs> yeah, it's a sign. It's called a test. And he failed the test. They jump in the car off to Vegas. They go, he gets married. He says, this is now my new woman of my dreams. And guys, this is a great example how we oftentimes will just go out and search for love when in fact, We've already found it. We just blew it. So a day or so later, Charlie is so distraught, realizing that Betsy is not going to change his feelings and emotions for Chelsea. He goes over to Chelsea's father's house, where, of course, Chelsea's father is living with his gay boyfriend. And he finally meets up with Chelsea and says, I'm so sorry. I'll do anything to get you back. And she apologizes to him for trying to change him. The reality, guys, is that in order to have an authentic, loving relationship, a romantic relationship, that it's not 50-50. It's 100%, 100%. We both have to come together. We both have to realize that the other party has shortcomings. And guess what? So do we. And we have to only control our shortcomings because guess what? She can't control hers other than talking to her about it and letting her know or getting her to understand that maybe some of these things are her sabotaging the relationship as well. 
Guys, I hope this has helped you with your relationships. I hope this has helped you to get closer to finding the women of your dreams. Now, I would love to hear a few comments or even some questions to follow up with this video. Don't forget to like the video as well and subscribe to my channel. There's some great free content in there that's going to get you closer and closer to finding the woman of your dreams. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.